Christian Eriksen obviously is still up in the air. Um, from what I gather, now, I don't know the real ins and outs of it, <laughs> but from what I know, Brentford are still un- unsure of what he's going to do. They've yeah. obviously laid down a contract offer for him and they're waiting for him to get back to them on that. And... You know, I've spoken about him before. I'd love him to re-sign for us. I think it would be even a bigger story if he re-signs for mm. us because that'll just show that he's loved his time and he feels as though this is the place I want to continue my career at. Whereas if he moves somewhere else, it'll just feel like we were that little stepping stone. But equally, you know, I will still be glad to have seen Christian Eriksen in a red and white striped shirt, even though it was only for a few months. But I'm actually getting to the point now I'm a bit fed up of it. Well, I was going to say, his agent should be saying to him, you've got to make a decision. Well, this is... I'm, I'm now getting to because the point. Because like someone like yourself, and you're a bit more generous than I imagine most Brentford fans, but there'll become a period where if you don't want to sign for us, let him go. I, let him well, go. I am... Get, I'm turning a little bit, Cass. I'm getting to the point where I'm I'm thinking it's a, li- it's a bit disrespectful now. Show a bit of class and tell us what you want to do. Mm. Now, like I say, he may well have done that. And if he's done that, I hold my hands up and I say I've got it wrong. But from what I know, from some people that I know at the club who have who I've been in touch with, they have they still don't know what's no. going on. I hope within the next week, I'd really like to think he's made a call. Because how long do you drag this out? And the longer you drag it out, the club that's giving you the opportunity to play football again, their fan base will start to get a bit frustrated with you and think, well, if you're going to go, just go and do it in the right way like you were given the opportunity to come to the club. And I, I think he has to make that decision. Mm. And look, Ericsson would have earned a lot of money in his career. He's had, you know, some good years in the Premier League. He's gone to Inter Milan, had a big move. And OK, I'm sure he took a bit of a downturn in quite a big one in going to Brentford. And um, they're offering him a deal. Um, I, I th- I'd like to think, I, I don't know him, but what I, when I hear him talk and the way he speaks, I think he seems a really generous mm. sort of guy and he's respected totally what Brentford had done, but he's got to make a decision within yeah. the, in the week about yeah. what he does. Because ultimately, if it's us, if it's if it's Manchester United, if it's another club mm. who are hoping to sign him, that's a part of their plan, their strategy for the upcoming season that they're hoping he's going to be a part of their plans. And, you know, you don't want to be heading towards the final weeks of this of this month mm. Not knowing still if, because this is a a potential position you want to fill with somebody. So you need to know one way or the other if he's going to be coming to that that club. Yeah. It's time to make the call. You know, pre-season's upon us now, isn't it, for a number of players? Uh, Yeah, I think most clubs are. Most clubs are back. Certainly in the, obviously lower down in the championship. But Premier Premier League clubs are back this week. Started on Monday, most Mm -hmm. of them. So Mm -hmm. he's got to be making that decision about what he wants to do and... I believe he will. This, I, I think the outcome by the next time we're on air, uh, obviously we're on air tomorrow, but I, I certainly think by next weekend you'd, like you'd know where what his intentions were doing. Yeah. Or, of doing. And like I say, even though I said, you know, mm. I'm getting a bit annoyed about it, if you are listening, Christian, I still love you, so please sign for us because it would be great. We'd love to have you back. Um, but, the, you know, really interesting to talk about the sort of free transfers and, and we picked out an, a few players that we mentioned there who are out of contract. whole host of players that will be out of contract, especially in the lower leagues, that will find it much yeah. tougher to oh, find I'm... clubs. So we, sympathy to them because that must be incredibly hard. Yeah, it's quite a scary place mm. uh, for players that have played a lower level and haven't had the riches of what Premier League players have. It's a different ball game for them. Yeah. And that that's, a, you know, sometimes sport can be cruel and football's... A, you know, a big arena, isn't it, for mm. for earning money? And uh, if you're out of contract and you've got a mortgage, you're in the League Two, League One team, and you're, you know, wondering what you're going to do after your career, because you know, and I've also been there when I've been in that limbo land, yeah. which ain't nice. No, I can well imagine.